Hi there. Oh, wow. You, um... You look even prettier than you did on your profile. I thought maybe you'd use a filter or something, but... Wow. Oh, come on. And, uh... Have a seat. I, I, uh, I kept it warm for you. The, 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 the table. I, I mean, not, not, not the seat. So, I guess I, I didn't keep it warm. But I, um... I, I saved it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, never mind. Did you have trouble finding your way here? Yeah, I figured. A hole in the wall like Marnie's can can be hard to find from the street. But I'll tell you. Tastiest nachos in town. Talk about best appetizers for your buck. That might not seem like a great reason to drag you here, of all places, but just trust me. It is. I hope you don't mind, but I went ahead and ordered you a beer. You said you liked it, right? Good, I'm glad. It goes pretty well with any of the stuff on the menu. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Cheers. You like it? Oh, that's good to hear. Glad to know it's made the hunt for this place worth it. I'd have offered to drive you, but... It was my turn to pick up my daughter from the sitters. Oh, yeah, she's with her mom and her aunt right now. They were having a, a, a girl's night out. Or as she put it, no boys allowed, Dad, <laughs> before pushing me out the door. I'd rather her do that than be upset that I'm going on a date in the first place. She's taken all of this really well, all things considered. Um... You know, it's it's great that you still wanted to keep talking to me. And even come and meet me like this, knowing that I had a kid. I've had a lot of women politely reject me the second they find out. It's been hard enough being so short, but on top of that, hardly anyone wants to deal with the baggage of a divorced dad. Especially someone as young and as attractive as you. So, <clears throat> I'm, I'm just, I'm really glad it's not an issue for you. It, it means a lot to me. Ah, no, it's, it's, it's all right. It's not intrusive to ask. I'd be shocked if you didn't ask what happened. My ex-wife realized that she wasn't as straight as she thought she was. It took her a long time to come to terms with it. She was so far back in the closet that she didn't even realize she was hiding in there. But when she did tell me, I was okay with it. I even joked around like we both like girls, we have so much in common, yada yada. But um, I guess she was struggling with the fact that she loved me more as a person than a man. If that makes sense? Like, she realized she loved me more than a friend, but not in the same way as a lover. Which... I won't go into the tedious details, but it was bad for a while. I didn't understand what she was going through, and she didn't even know how to deal with what she was feeling. When she finally did start sharing her feelings with me, it seemed that she felt really guilty. She married me because I seemed like the best option, and she really did think she loved me that way, but... She didn't know herself well enough to see that. Marriage was unfair to both of us. I was hurt, of course, but I just want her to be happy. And, and just be herself. She didn't even realize she was lying to herself as much as to me. Pretending to be something she wasn't without knowing. <laughs> it sounds awful when I think about it. I knew that I would just drag her down if we stayed married. So, our divorce was finalized over a year ago. Honestly, she's an amazing person. <laughs> I'm, I'm blessed to still have her in my life. And out of all of this, we still have a beautiful little girl that we're raising together. Even if we're not the most traditional family. But uh, that, <laughs> that's enough about me gabbing about super heavy stuff. I want to hear about you. You said in your profile that you just moved out here, right? 
Oh, okay. Five months. So you've had a bit of time to adjust. Um, not to sound weird. I know you said you came here for work, but you're what? 28? You're in your prime. Why'd you want to move out to a fussy old suburb like this one? I mean, geez, I'm pushing 41 and this town feels like it's too old for me sometimes. I didn't even know that company had roots in such a rural area. How are you liking the job so far? It's great. I know job transition can be rough. It's really impressive to have a job title like that at your age. I'm almost jealous. I've never been super ambitious about climbing any corporate ladders. I admire people like you who do, though. I can't imagine the fortitude it takes. It might be a little selfish to say, but I'm glad you moved out here. If only so that I could get to know you. There, there aren't a lot of gay guys just around, you know? This is a, a very one stoplight per town kind of area. Has it been hard coming from the big city to work out here? Ah, uh, yeah. I can imagine a slower pace is probably a relief if you've been with the company for that long. Those hours sound way more reasonable than some of the other schedules I've heard about with those big time companies. Me? Oh, um, yeah, I, uh, I set my own hours. I work from home. Yeah, I'm, I'm an artist. What do I draw? Um, well, I didn't elaborate on my profile because I thought it might look embarrassing. But I, I, I guess I, I get out of the way on the first date in case it's something that bothers you. I do normal traditional art and illustration on the side, just as a cover, but my main job is um, uh, adult-oriented, if you catch my drift. When you can draw um, the human body doing anything, you'll never be short for work and income. Well, you're giggling at me. That at least means you're not offended or going to storm off on me. My ex is the only one who knows besides my closest friend. It's not something I go around telling people, but it pays more than a regular 9 to 5 ever would. Y yeah, because I'm, 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 I'm good at it. I'm, I'm sorry, I get so shy talking about this. Hmm? Oh, uh, y yeah. I have, uh, I have something I did recently. Here. Let me pull it up on my phone. Um, I'm just checking to be sure no one's looking. There's no kids around here either. So, um, he, here. They, they, they'd, they'd ask for, um, well, you know, your, your typical maid costume that, uh, doesn't really hide much. That, uh, that pose was actually way more difficult than I thought it would be. Most people don't think about how erotic art is actually produced. They seem to think it appears out of some dark, sinful abyss, or they don't care either way. But in reality... People like me have to have a good handle on anatomy and perspective and just art. It's still art, even if it's not for everyone. You, you like it? <laughs> I'm, um, I'm so flattered. I, I, I don't even know what to say. I, I thought for sure anyone I told would think I was a scumbag, but you appreciate the artistry? <laughs> wow. You're too good to be true. Mm -hmm. Oh, hold up. My ex is texting me. Oh, Did you look at that? 
she painted my daughter's nails pink of course her favorite color i swear her entire closet could pass for a barbie's wardrobe makes her feel like a princess the other day she came down to breakfast wearing a tiara and this giant pink ball gown she hadn't buttoned it properly but that didn't stop little Miss Sass from acting like a queen all through breakfast. Oh, I wish I had a picture of it. It's the most monstrously pink and glittery thing you could ever imagine. Her aunt got it for her birthday recently. I think it was her favorite gift of that day, given that she refused to take it off even during bedtime. That was a not-so-fun episode of parenting. I had to bribe her with her favorite nightgown with kitty faces on it. Yeah, she just turned five. God, was it really only a couple months ago? Seems like just yesterday she was a newborn, being swaddled and burped and all that. She was so small. She, <laughs> she couldn't even wrap her tiny fingers around my thumb. Now suddenly she's grown enough to boss me around. Uh, next thing I'll know, she'll be driving a car, and then dating, and oh, I'm... I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to dump all my emotional sappiness onto you on the first date. No, you don't. You don't have to lie. I, I, I know I'm not. I guess uh, young and hip, going on and on about my daughter growing up too fast and all. You're not lying, huh? You really like hearing me talk about all that. Well, all right, if you say so. Again, I haven't dated since my wife, so I'm flying a, a bit blind here. I don't know if talking about my unorthodox art and my ex, my daughter, all in under an hour is a turnoff. Hmm. <laughs> Think I'm being too hard on myself? Insecure? Huh. Yeah, I, I guess I am. You're right. That is what dating's all about. Getting to know each other. You're just such a beautiful girl. You've probably done this more than me. Oh? You got sick of all the guys your age? Well, I can't promise that I'm as mature as you're expecting. Older doesn't always mean more mature, but... I hope that the more we see each other, the more you can find out if I'm, well, someone you're looking for. You're the first person I've been on a date with since my ex, but you seem nice. You're polite, you're sweet, you're very pretty. I'm really glad you're interested in me. You might have to take the wheel a bit, though, since you've dated more than I have. Oh, I, I, I said take, take the wheel, not... Not take my hand, but, um, wow. Your hands are really soft. I haven't held anyone's hand in a while, besides my daughter's. And then it's more like trying to keep her from running into traffic with a death grip. But this is, this is really nice. Ugh, I'm blathering again. I'm sorry. It, it's just, <sighs> okay. Yeah, yeah, I'll, I'll stop apologizing. Then, r really, though, thank you so much. <laughs>